Okay, so Tamaki got changed a bit, not drastically, but just a few changes. He, I don't think it was overall buffed or nerfed, he just got, you know, a bunch of adjustments. They do actually make differences, but not like, not balance-wise, they just make him slightly different. So, um, his strings they all got a bunch of like little changes, but basically they're just a bit faster. Like, the ground one is actually a lot faster than it used to be, so that's really good. Because he used to have kind of a, like, terrible ground attack string, like it was so slow. So that's good. Um, also his air one's a bit faster now, and they kind of just changed some of the hitboxes, some of the hit reactions, and they made like the first hit have a little bit more. They made the first hit of his attack ground attack string kind of punishable, which I don't really agree with, because like, look how long it takes me for me to actually have to sidestep after that. Like, that is one of the most punishable moves I've ever seen. I don't understand why Bandai, or... Uh, who's the publisher? My mind's blank. But... <laughs> I don't understand why they love having regular attacks be punishable, like, how am I supposed to engage with the opponent if my regular attack is, like, completely punishable? Just my normal attacks are totally punishable if I just do one of them. So, I mean, that's kind of weird, but at least he can do it faster now. Um, another change was to the guard cancel timing from his quirk one, so now it's just a little bit easier, I believe, to get your, like, your grounded combos, like, if you want to do these combos. Like maybe you were wanting to do um, your combos into like plus ultra 2 or something and, and extend them so you want to stay on the ground. So now it's a little bit easier to do your dash cancel into grounded things. Like you can do these if you want, but like they're not as much damage as a normal combo. But they're pretty good for if you're trying to stay grounded. And I'll show those in a sec. So if I'm doing something like this. Like maybe I want to do two dash cancels before I actually go in for my plus ultra 2. Uh, is that gonna work? Yep. So they just made that a little bit easier, which is good because like sometimes I was dropping that online because it's a little bit tight before, but now it's just a bit easier. That wasn't a great example of a combo, but you know. It's good that they make those combos a little bit easier. Um, they had a slight um, adjustment to the hitbox of the um, and like the hit reaction of his Quirk 2. Um, mainly so just that now it doesn't really like randomly miss as it used to, like quite a lot. It used to just randomly not hit the opponent. Or like the second part would hit or like the first one would just completely miss. So they've kind of changed the hitbox so it's a little bit more consistent. Which I love, so now you can, you know, hit it consistently off of basically anything that you would have been able to do normally, but it was just kind of weird and inconsistent, so it's really good that he can actually hit it properly now. And always know that he has a good combo ender for his combos, because it was kind of annoying to randomly just miss your combo ender. <laughs> um, and the last change was to his Tilt Quirk 2 Tentacle Grab. And it was kind of a buff and a nerf at the same time. So it was nerfed in the way that it actually does less damage um, in a combo now. So I'm not quite sure if that means it does um, less damage on its own or it has more scaling. I, it looks like it has more scaling. Like, so attacks after it do a little less damage. So when it's used in a combo... Here, wait. Oops. But it was actually buffed so that you can actually combo off of it no matter where you are. So they slightly change its hit reaction, so like even if I'm in the middle of the screen and I like, or, you know, I end up in the middle of the screen when I do the tentacle grab, I can actually dash cancel and get a combo off of it, even if I'm not facing the wall. So as you can see here, I can actually just get a combo off of it, which is not something I could do before. So that's a nice change, always love seeing stuff like that. Or, I mean, what am I saying? I was talking about that in refer reference to, to these. But um, yeah, kind of don't really have too much to say about Tamaki. He's pretty much plays the exact same game as he did before. They've just made some slight adjustments so you can do his combos like all over the screen. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you are, which I guess is good, but it doesn't really change too much. Like he still is just going to want to like try to do meterless combos and throw the opponent into the wall most of the time. So he's still playing the same game plan, but he's just a little bit better and, you know, just a little bit different in some ways. Like, you can do stuff like this and get, like, almost 11,000 for zero dash cancels all the time if there's ever a wall nearby. Because, you know, he can just run around and, like, throw the opponent no matter where they are. So if you see a wall, oop, throw him in, you've got to jump, oops, and then they're in the wall. But yeah, that's Tamaki. Not too much was changed, just a little a few changes, but nothing drastic. Anyways, see you in the next one.